What's going on guys? This is Mike with Chit Chat Gaming. Now usually I do these pickup videos. It seems like on the weekends I like to go out and kind of uh, search disc replays, um, you know, search other uh, th uh, thrift stores as well too. Um, I, every once in a while you can find a good deal at some of those. Um, I did, it's really crazy. I'm gonna tell you a quick story here. There's a local one here in town that I called because they said they had a Sega Genesis. So I called them up and like, oh yeah, we have an original Sega Genesis right here in stock. Uh, come check it out, it's three bucks. I'm like, okay. So I went over and I checked it out. I walk in there and what do I see? $30 in the glass case, the Sega Genesis at games, AT games, whatever it is, model for 30 bucks with two wireless crappy controllers. I turn around and I walk back down. Actually, I went in there and I said, where's the Sega at? And he goes, it's right here. And I said, this is not an original Sega Genesis. I'm sorry. And I walked down and left. That's how pissed off I was because again, though, you can't sit there and say this is a Sega Genesis because it's not a Genesis. Don't try selling it as a Genesis. Throw a thing out in the dumpster or sell it for five bucks somewhere. But here's one good thing I did pick up though, guys. I had an awesome pickup weekend. One of my buddies um, had posted a while back here that I was looking for some retro systems and such because I want to get back into retro gaming, retro collecting. So I told him what I was looking for and one of my buddies off, um, offline on, on, on Facebook actually messaged me, you know, direct messaged me and was like, hey, I got a Sega Genesis and a Super Nintendo. Well, I already had a Super Nintendo. So I was like, well, I'm definitely interested in the Sega Genesis. So he got a hold of me. He told me what he had, um, so I went ahead and I picked it up. I was like, all right, I'll take it from you. I'll take it off your hands. So I went and met with him, and I picked it up from him, and man, he gave me one heck of a great deal. Thank you to him for hooking me up with this as well, too. But again, though, this is something I picked up here. We had a, we used to have a Sega Genesis, like I mentioned several times. Um, unfortunately, when we moved from my grandparents' house, we lost our Sega Genesis, or Super Nintendo. I say we, as me and my uncle, because growing up, we had kind of like, we shared systems and such. We lost our PlayStation 1, our original PlayStation. We lost a lot of things, including all of our Genesis and Super Nintendo games as well, too. I believe he had an NES as well, too, so we lost a lot of things. So I went ahead and I wanted to pick this up. So I did get hooked up with a, a Sega Genesis here. Now, this is the Model 2. This is not the original one. Um, there was a Model 3 as well, too, that's out. Um, this one here, though, I really do like as well. I, I prefer to have one if I be Model 1, but this one here is definitely pretty cool as well, too. So I went ahead and picked this up. Um, I got this here, which is the actual console. Got the power adapter, which is good. The original ones this is all original stuff that he had when he was a kid. I uh, got the original adapter. I got an RFU adapter as well too, which I completely just got rid of and went ahead and purchased a uh, Model 2 AV cords for this thing. So, and I did get an original controller. I forgot to bring it because Sega Genesis is definitely one of my favorite controllers. Um, I love the original controller. Um, I did get one of those as well too, so I was definitely excited about that. So, I got this here. Again, this is the Sega Model 2, Sega Genesis Model 2. Definitely hyped to hook this bad boy up here. Now, I did get some games as well too. So, I want to go ahead and show you what I got this weekend. Um, he gave me a crap load of games, man. I mean, he gave me a, a, a great deal on this, by the way. And um, one game that I picked up myself, I did uh, disc replay was I picked up Street Fighter 2, the uh, Special Champion Edition. So this is basically like Street Fighter 2 Turbo uh, from the SNES. So they created one, instead of Turbo, they just created this version here for the Genesis. So I did pick this up. I got a good deal on this too. I actually got this for like six bucks. So again, this is Street Fighter 2 Championship Edition. So we got that here. Uh, I picked this up today actually, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. I actually got this for three bucks, so a pretty good deal here. So Sonic 2, I love all the Sonic games. This is one of my favorite ones. So we got Sonic 2 there. I don't want to break those things. Um, I got this one quite a while back here. This is Tiny Toon Adventures. This is uh, Buster's Hidden Treasure. I like this one. There's a uh, Bus Loose as well, too. There's uh, quite a few different uh, Tiny Toon Adventures games I really do like. So this one is actually definitely one of my favorites. So I'll put that right there. And this I got today, too. So I did not get this from him, but I got this separately. This is Sonic the Hedgehog 3 in the case here. Got a pretty good deal on this too, 10 bucks. Um, it's actually got the manual and everything still with it. So it's got the manual, it's got the actual game of course in the box, so definitely a good deal on this too. And this is definitely one of my favorites as well. Sonic 2 and Sonic 3, Sonic Knuckles, they're all great games. So we got that here. Now these are the games I got from him. So I do have a couple more downstairs. Um, that I just went ahead and just didn't bring up because they're duplicates. But I did get, um, these are all mostly sports games. So yes, it's crazy because he must have been a big sports fan because I did get these. But I'm definitely, for the price I paid for this, I'm definitely appreciative of what he gave me. So um, Cowboys, or my, 94 and 95, the Cowboys are my favorite football team. So Deion Sanders on the front here, a primetime football starring Deion Sanders, made by Sega Sports. So 
I always love the Sega sports games like Joe, Mont uh, Joe Montana sports talk and such. Um, World Series Baseball with the KB Toy Store. A uh, little sticker on there for 30 bucks. Looks like this was. So still in box. Instruction book. Instruction book still intact. And even the receipt. Even the receipt is in here still too. So that's pretty cool. And a little flyer. A little book actually on, on Sega. Uh, oh yeah. Let's check this out guys. It has the uh, Sega CD on the back here. So that's pretty neat. Is it a poster? Oh, I can hang this up behind me here. Oh, sweet. It's actually an Eternal Champions poster. <laughs> Again, this is all original stuff, man. This this guy had this from a bunch of games on the back. So this is all like original stuff that he had in his actual home. So that's really cool. So we got that. Moving on here, we got Wheel of Fortune, Vanna White on the front. Once again, complete in box with the instruction manual in the game. So that's awesome. RBI Baseball 93. I'm big into the RBI games, of course. Um, 2017, 2018 are awesome. 2018 should be coming out for the Switch, but right here is 93, one of the original ones, as far as the, uh, except for the NES versions, which are fun too. And yet, once again, complete inbox with the instruction book as well, too. So, moving on here, these are fun games too, much like NBA Jam. Uh, this is College Slam. Once again, complete inbox, instruction book, and game. So college slam. A lot of sports games, like I mentioned, but it's okay because I'm I, I dig sports games, but I probably wouldn't spend any money on it um, outside of getting this as a package deal. So um, college football USA 96. Once again, complete inbox. So definitely cool here. Very appreciative once again. Thank you to him for hooking me up on this excellent price. Trust me for all this here. So one of my favorite games of all time uh, for the SNES, Sega Genesis, Arcade, etc. Sports games anyways. What's well, kind of a sports game. It's more extreme sports, I should say. It's NBA Jam. Uh, this is the tournament edition here. This came out after the first one, of course. Uh, KB Stores, $29.99. Look at that. $29.99, $30. Also, complete inbox with the instruction book. So that's cool. These games are always such a blast, man. I love NBA Jam games. Getting down the nitty gritty here. Uh, this is going to be uh, another game I played quite a bit back in the day. Was uh, Family Feud. Once again, I believe this is. Yep, this is complete in box as well too. Instruction booklet and everything with it. So, yeah. Again though, that's pretty much all I got here um, as far as the Sega Genesis goes. So. Already a great start to my collection. Actually, my retro game treasure uh, box I get every month. I was originally going to do, I have SNES set up on that. I was going to do the, the original PS1 on there as well too. But I changed the Sega Genesis mainly because I wanted to collect some more Sega games. So again, big thank you to the guy who I got this from because you know who you are. But yeah, big thank you to him because he definitely hooked me up pretty fat with the Sega Genesis Model 2 and a whole slew of great games inbox complete inbox that i can start collecting and start playing here so let me know in the comment section below guys if you guys own a sega genesis still if it's one of your favorite consoles of all time what's your favorite game for the sega genesis as well too and once again like i said just let me know in the comment section because i'm always interested in hearing your guys' story as well too so once again guys this has been mike with chit chat gaming and as always happy gaming